Hey there everyone, welcome to uh, another Spectrum video actually. I recently became kind of interested in sort of making my own homebrew Spectrum games and I was kind of looking in how to do it and uh, there's a few tools which are quite good for getting started and one of them I found was called CGD, made in 2013 by Dave Hughes and uh, there's a few different game making tools, there's one called, I think the, the most popular one is called Arcade Game Designer and I've been playing around with that a bit but um, that involves a bit more sort of uh, coding and stuff and I'm kind of still learning to use that, um, this was a bit more my level there, uh, it's, it's very limited but also very sort of immediate, um, let's get started, hmm, actually I've already got a game uh, I'm working on. Here's a basic menu of the game. Um, you design your sprites, your blocks, and then you um, put them down in the game and whatever, run around. So I'll show you just the basics of what's happening. And the, the, my idea for a game was to uh, have some kind of like killer clown going around killing people. And uh, I don't know why. I kind of I like the it movies and stuff. And these this is my sprites, uh, left, right, and up and down. As you can see, it's very small sprite, eight by eight sprites. So yeah, you, you've got a real limited sort of palette, but I, I kind of like that. I like how limited it is. You know, it makes you really think about the design and stuff. So I, I don't think it really looks much like a clown, but <laughs> there you go. And then there's some victims for the clown, some children for him to chase. I was trying to make some kind of like swimming pool area um, I'd come up with this idea to have a swimming pool full of people and the clown would go and push something into the water and kill them all and I actually got it working but it, it doesn't seem to work properly like when the when you kill people they leave behind a, a black space so it doesn't look right so I'm gonna not I'm probably not gonna use this sprite here and uh, these ones here were just something I was messing around with but <clears throat> There's our character sprites, and you can change the speed of the sprites. Um, I don't really know if, if he's fast enough at six. And um, and then there's this one, the girl and the boy sprite. I, this is um, like the enemies in the game. And you set up the AI, what they do. Um, see this one, runs away and wonders. I, I don't really know exactly what all these things do. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory. Vertical patrol, horizontal patrol, all that. Vertical snake. Uh, I think some chase the player around, some... Uh, see, that one runs away. So I selected run away and wonders, so I guess they're going to wander around the map, and then when you get close to them, they run away. And the effect, when you hit them, you can have them like, be a deadly enemy that kill the player when you hit them. I've done this kill guardian, which means you kill them. So... That's the basic premise of the game. That's the only mechanics I've got worked out yet. I thought a killer clown game where you play a killer clown. And that, that was about as far as I've got. So I'll see what else. Let's have a look. Design blocks. This is... Um, so you can... Design, this is just a blank block. And then we've got... This is like the walls of the buildings. Um, that was my attempt at making a swimming pool, which I haven't... Uh, and I'm not going to use those tiles now because they're redundant and these ones um, I've got some sort of furniture that I'm going to put in and some basic things that was my battery but uh, I'm probably not going to use that it's just me sort of messing around experimenting with the different blocks and what I could do and um, you can design your font so go into the map editor and I'll show you just sort of placing things down um, go to screen one so this is me putting things uh, let's, um, just clear the screen and then the only thing is because it's a black background I can't really see where I'm placing things so so this is my idea for trying to make a road I'll do something like this and then maybe Oop. so yeah you can see you just place them down like that oops that one was wrong but okay it doesn't matter so yeah I'm gonna have to make like the background tile like have a little block on it or something until I finish making the game just to make it easier for myself but there you get the kind of idea it's a little road building block there it's um, nothing too special but you get a very you only get about 30 or so tiles to make the game with like building blocks and there's only nine screens so 
my idea was to have to kind a kind of almost sort of free roaming space where you could go around the all the nine screens and then try and catch children. That should be a funny concept for a game, but I don't know, maybe a bit a bit weird. Um, so I've got these blocks. I'll show you how they go down. Uh, oh, I press that on the road. Okay, it doesn't matter. This is uh, just me messing around practicing. So, uh, so I made I made some basic sort of three D looking tiles. I don't know how good they look. Probably not very, but it's just me, just just me sort of messing around, getting used to it. I thought I'd start with something simple, just work out the basics of sort of making a game, and then no, see that doesn't work. Oh, there we go. See, we got little. I've I've thought about the corners. Now, something I I can do is sort of visual. Oh fuck! The the controls kind of put me off on this because um, it's Q A O P, and I'm kind of more used to a was sad because control scheme. So I, I keep like pressing the wrong buttons. But there you go. Look, see, I've kind of built a basic house there with the blocks that I've designed, and then I did make some like sofa type of thing. I don't know what does that look like. Does that look like a sofa? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> It could be a sofa, <laughs> and uh, what else we got? A bed. That's my that's my attempt at a bed. I might change the color of that actually to something else, so it stands out against the room. And there's a toilet. You see, I made some little blocks. I made some little things, just to kind of. Just a little bit of furniture to put around the houses just to kind of make it look like an actual thing, like an actual space. Um, I want to kind of do little doors and maybe some things to push around inside the house. Um, but I haven't really thought through how the game's actually going to work. Um, let me just place down some some of the sprites. So she can go in that house. She can live in there. She's got a friend of her. Put some outside. That'll do. There's some. There's a basic sort of building-looking thing, and then some characters in there, and then I'll see how they work. What I've got them on is the AI to wonder and run away, but I don't really know how that's going to work. So, so there you go. So you only get nine screens, but I might make them like sort of make it sort of open world rather than having a level that you do and then you go on to the next screen. Um, let's just, let's test. Okay, so there I am in the top corner and yeah, I think I need to up the speed of the character a little bit. You see they're kind of wandering around their little space and then here comes the clown. Du, 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 du. Oh shit, what the fuck. Let's try again. Let's see. I think maybe when they go off the edge of the screen it tra teleports me with them to a different place. I don't know really. I don't really know how it works. Let's see. Let's, let's kill a child. Got ya. No sort of noise or anything when you get them, but... So yeah, I just kind of teleported to somewhere else. I don't know. Did the timer run out or something? Maybe it's because the timer run out. I don't really know the the rules for the game yet, to be honest. I haven't got a name for my clown yet. I don't know what he's called. He looks more like a dog or something, but... Yeah, I'm not I'm not too good at pixel arts. This is my my little attempt at it. I think the the bricks look okay, but the clown himself kind of just looks a bit. So yeah, I don't know why I suddenly teleported to a new stage. It's probably something that I've done in the AI that doesn't really work. But maybe we need to be a bit faster. Let's make the kids really fast. Because what I I haven't really thought of how the game is going to play. Um, like what the challenge is going to be because if the enemies can't kill you then there's not really much challenge to the actual gameplay so I was thinking maybe have it so that you've got to collect as a, 
as many children as you can in the time, but they run away from you really quickly. Maybe have some like enemies, like I don't know, a dog or something that chases you down and stops you, and you've got to run away from that. Um, and I don't know what else. Like sort of, um, I was going to have like locked doors and things. Like the a lot of the houses will be locked up, and you have to find the keys to get into them, or a crowbar or something. Change the colour of the bed to something more interesting. I don't know what. Maybe a white bed. I want it kind of colourful though, you know. But it's the same colour as the character sprite, which is a bit weird. But it doesn't matter. Uh, so let's go into events. Um, when Baddy when Baddy meets Screen Edge next screen. That must be what's happening. I'll try random wrap. Maybe that's. I think I thought when the the baddies went off the screen, it'd like take you to the. It wouldn't take you to the next screen. It would take them to the next screen, and then you'd have to chase them down. But I guess it's. It takes you there, like teleports you to the next screen, which is weird. So um, I don't know. Let's test the game anyway. Okay, here we are. Here's Mister Clowny Clown, and oh, look at them running, running around like crazy people. I guess I could just hang around on the... Look, whoa, I'm coming in. I'm coming in, child. Oh. Oh, it's running. She's running. Where did she go? Maybe she ran into me. I'll have to watch that back. I don't know. It seemed like she just vanished, but surely that doesn't make any sense. Got yeah, I think. Maybe I need to make him a little bit slower. <laughs> I don't really know. It's got a nice effect. It kind of looks quite sort of organic, like people. Are... Just, did I run into you eventually? <laughs> So, I don't know, this is, uh, you know, just me sort of practicing. And they respawn when you go off the screen and back on, which is a shame. Mr. Scratch is coming. I don't know what to, I don't know what to call the clown, that's all. Yeah, I, I think maybe have it sort of, you've got to collect so many children in a time limit and then have a lot of them locked in inside houses and then you've got to find a way to break in and get them or something like that. That might be a better way to do it than just have them running around everywhere. Because you could just jump on and off the screen back and forth and just keep collecting them. Uh, let's try something else. Um, I completed the game. Yay. Um, let's have a look. Maybe that speed is a bit fast. Oh, damn it. Gotta go right around every time. So let's try the AI where it just runs away. Okay, let's test it now. Okay, so they just... No, that, that, <laughs> that doesn't work really. As you can see, they just end up running to the edges of the screen and then... Let's see what happens if it does nothing when the baddies meet the screen edge. Okay. So they just run to the corner today and then... And then what? Ah, but they kind of all just end up on the same tile, which is a bit annoying. I don't really... No, I think maybe that run away from you and wonder... Let's see, let's go back in. Hello, children! Yeah, they just they end up on the same tile. It doesn't really... It doesn't really work. Oh, I got them now. I got you. I got you. Oh, don't run away from me. Got you. I wonder what happens now if they are... Let's see what happens now. 
So I don't think they'll end up on the same tile because they just wander around a bit. They've got like a bit of chaos to their movement, so. But they'd still run away when you come after them. Hey, kiddies! Don't run from me! And then these ones inside the house. See, the ones outside are quite hard to get, so you'd waste a lot of time running around after them. But if you can go and get some sort of key, then it would make it better. Ooh, give me that food. So, yeah, see, and these are quite hard to catch. I mean, you can catch them. I suppose you could just keep going. Hmm, okay. Can't go off the edge of the screen. Oh, it's because it's the top of the screen. Um, pop, pop. You see there. Ha! Hey, kids. Don't run from me, kids. Hey, kids. It's kind of tricky chasing these things down. It's it's, easy, it's 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 less easy now that they don't screen wrap. I think when they screen wrap, they would um, sort of come around the edge and then just run into you. Whereas doing this is a little bit better. Yeah. Oh, got you. I got you. I'm gonna get you. Got you. And then once you get in the houses, yeah, it's it's a lot easier once you're in the house. So. I think I've got the, the 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 makings of a game here. It's, I haven't got all of all the ins and out of it worked out yet. Obviously, you know it's going to take a bit of more work. Um, but there you go. Look, it's got you've got things running around on the screen, and I'm kind of showing you the kind of trial and error bit that I'm doing to try and get the game working. Let's go and have a lie down in the bed. I made these so they slow you down, so that, you know. Go a bit slow when you're going over that tile, but it doesn't really seem to do a whole lot. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure what else I can do. Maybe something chasing you. Maybe some kind of bad guy chasing you around would make the game a bit more challenging. Anyway, there you go. That's um, classic game designer. I think it was originally meant to be called crappy game designer or something, but I, don't know, I think it's quite cool. It's very basic, but like I say, it's it. It's very sort of simple to use, and I, I kind of enjoy sort of thinking around like through the limitations of it, you know, like the the real small sp um, sprites, I'm trying to make something with that like the eight by eight pixel block you get, and sort of the um, the limited sort of logic things you can put in, you know. There's no like coding involved. You just kind of put the blocks down and tell them what to do. But it's interesting to think about what you can achieve using those few blocks. And uh, let's get this last child. I don't want this last child running around escaping me. But um yeah stay tuned. Maybe I'll actually finish this game and put it onto to download for people to play. Let me know what you think. It's uh, kinda silly but might be kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, so obviously I've got a lot more work to do on this, but it, I just wanted to show off the designer really rather than the actual game. Um, just show show kind of what you can do. and It's kind of fun to mess around with. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's free to download. You just need to get a Spectrum emulator or download it onto a tape and play it on your actual Spectrum. You can do that as well. Thanks for watching. And... Um, See you next time. Goodbye.